All right, as stated, I am making a video to show, well, a video summary of all the work that I've done to this 68 carbine to make it um, in an electro-pneumatic conversion. Um, uh, just a few of the uh, aesthetic modifications would be the the new mech drop forward with a Planet Eclipse Pops ASA. Uh, FYI, probably my favorite ASA out on the market right now. Uh, Power light scepter barrel kit, kind of old school, um, but in my opinion, one of the better uh, barrel kits out there. I did need to put a barrel adapter on here because uh, my scepter is actually ion threaded. Um, the feed neck, let's see if I get a good picture on here, I have a CCM clamp clamping ring on there, and this is a custom designed 3D printed. Uh, feed neck replacement for the the original feed neck that was on this what was called a D feed which is a combination of the vertical air adapter and a and what would have been a power feed um, by designing this custom uh, feed neck I was able to lower the uh, the hopper by almost two inches I believe it's an inch and three quarters in total um, the grip frame I also designed and had machined by a friend in Sweden in fact uh, he did uh, I designed the grip frame and he machine and the trigger as well and he did all the machining work um, the trigger has a magnetic has a magnet here with a set screw and above to change the uh, the the force that the magnet has in pulling it uh, die sticky threes uh, again another old school item I love them. I, I fell in love with them when they were first released years ago, and I just it it seems wrong to me to have anything besides uh, die sticky threes on a gun. Uh, so well, that's it. Uh, as you can see, you can see the uh, the ram here um, was made by Yoda 900 on it. Uh, M. Carter Brown. He did a fantastic job. It works flawlessly. Uh, so let's uh, let's get inside this bad boy here. Uh, as you can see, there's a CP reg. Not happy with it because it doesn't get above 500 psi. An LPR to control the the RAM and uh, CCM fittings. Love them. Uh, really cleans up the look here. Um, this is uh, obviously the the valve. The LP hose goes from the LPR through this channel that's underneath, as well as the eyes, which hide behind the feed neck block. I guess you could call it. Um, they run in through the channel into the grip panel. If you fold away, here we got you know, battery, of course, and of course the mess that is inside of here. Um, as you can see, I've got dual Q QEVs, um, a Mac 43 four way solenoid, uh, universal T board. Everything fits in there pretty tight. A lot of work. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, the only thing that's left stock on here, really, um, is going to be the valve, the bolt, and the linkage arm, as well as this rear sight, which is actually a, uh, which serves uh, more more than one purpose. It's also a rear sight, and it keeps the linkage arm in place. Uh, comment if you have any questions.